the large centralized locations available, Kulumbul and here, because it's the only viable model to do this on. And then please also remember that many of the people who are brought here are brought here by SAPs, not by the city's enforcement agencies. No, so I can't speak by law enforcement. Maybe we'll go to Let's not start a debate here. I'll give you oh, the report. You're making assertions that are not true. I can show you the pictures the of the SAPs vehicle Jackie, just launching people Jackie, here. I will give you accounts of law enforcement okay. officers who we'll start with yes. giving sanitizers to your law enforcement. 50,000 liters of sanitizer. Okay. Why have these ones here haven't got them? They have all been issued at their depots with lot sanitizer. They have all been issued with masks. They got 10,000 cloth masks and they got 50,000 liters of sanitizer. I'll take you to five who've got no sanitizer. Then they must connect it at their depot, which is what they're supposed to do. So how can they be on this facility if they don't? Have they're not here all the time. They clock in from the depot, sir. Your extensive police knowledge obviously um, allows you to make that very detailed insights. JP, all your councillors have a meeting with them. You're not the, the epitome of all wisdom. Just accept that. Were they given sanitizer? Yes, they do. I think my people are Let's go now. Let's go now. So I can only tell you what the head on site tells me. You know the problem is that. And I'd rather believe him than you, sir. Maybe you guys have not been on site. You did not go and actually speak to people. That's the problem. You did not actually go and. No, hold on. Hold on. JP. The problem is. You did not go inside the tent and actually just hold on and you listen to all the tents before you arrived. You did not listen to people speaking. You did not listen to people speaking. You did not actually give an opportunity for the law enforcement officers and the volunteers to actually speak. The problem that we have here is you're spreading a falsehood. You're spreading, and you've had yours now. You're spreading a falsehood because here is the most senior officer on site contradicting you direct, directly, sir. That the city has not consulted this community number one. The now now you're changing your tune to something because you got called out on the lie you told earlier. Solutions in Somerset West and Strand and many, but the city is not prepared to look at decentralised solutions and is now dealing with a situation which is not sustainable. I think the city needs to listen to people. They need to be less arrogant because what is happening here is not a sustainable solution. We're not doing this in a party political way. We are here as members of government of parliament. You need to, as the opposition, look at what's going on. What's going on here in a tent with not a single mattress, people not being able to actually access showers, is not acceptable. So it doesn't help if J.P. Smith comes in here, interrupts the process. He's had an opportunity to explain. We went into and listened, and we will um, show that um, video footage of what people actually told us. Law enforcement officers who told us we have not been given sanitizer. Why, why would I want to mislead people? That's what they told us. Volunteers who said to us that we've been asked to volunteer here. We haven't been given masks. We haven't been given sanitizer or protective gear. Do you think we should stay quiet about that? Or we don't want to do it in a party political way. We want to bring this to the attention. It's not an easy situation at all. But to try and centralize the entire Metro's homeless problem on the community of Mitchell's Plain is not acceptable. There are decentralized solutions which need to be looked at. And the local communities know the street people. They have relationships with them. And what we have now is a situation which is actually potentially going to get out of hand. That's why let's drop the arrogance. Let's drop this, the I know everything attitude um, of, of Councillor J.P. Smith. And let's actually look at joint solutions.